Hey, what's going on? This is Marcus Murray, and I'm here with my lovely wife, Shira Murray. And we would like to welcome you to part one of our emergency savings video series. Stay tuned. So the first reason why you need to have emergency savings is probably the most obvious, and that is to prepare for the unexpected. And I'm reminded of Murphy's Law, which basically states that if something wrong can happen, it probably will. So having emergency savings available to you can help to offset the cost of whatever has happened. So the second reason why you must have emergency savings is because it will help to divert a crisis and it will allow you to recover or to bounce back quickly. Shara, that brings us to reason number three. Having an emergency savings or an emergency fund builds confidence in your ability to reach other financial goals. It gives you that financial swag, as I like to call it, and it lets you know that, hey, if I can build my emergency savings, I can also fulfill all of my other financial goals and desires. Yeah, and reason number four, it will reduce stress. You will be able to sleep better at night knowing that you have a little bit of money stashed away in the event that if something were to happen, you would have the ability to cover it. And peace of mind is priceless. And that brings us to the fifth reason why you need emergency savings for financial stability. Having an emergency savings in place is the cornerstone to wealth building. And what it does is it frees you up to do other things with your money, like save for your children's college or invest and build wealth. Yeah, so let's just take a moment to recap the five tips before we get out of here. So thank you for checking out this video. In our next video, we are going to be talking about how much you really need for your emergency savings. So stay tuned, stick with us, and we hope that you get a lot out of it. Thanks.